Hey guys, I'm going to be showing off the IK Spring Solver that Frank showed in class. Alright, so first you have to activate it, and I'm going to use this just to show off the script. This is not where we're going to be actually using it, uh, so you're going to need to type in Spring Solver. So IK Spring Solver, IK is in lowercase, and then it uses camel case for both uh, Spring and Solver. And you can just copy this close this out and you're going to go into your uh, little mail command line down here paste that in and that will activate it you might get an error message if you do just draw out some some bones like you normally do and then click on that and then uh, use the code uh, I'm not sure why that works but it does and so what will happen is you will get this new menu item in here when you go to the options box for the IK handle, you'll have your regular solvers, single chain and rotation, and then you'll have a spring solver. And the biggest difference between these uh, is when you have this kind of bone structure. So up top here is actually the uh, spring solver, and then we have the single chain and then the rotation. And if I show you these ones, you'll notice, you know, Eh, not really a lot of difference. Maybe there's some weird things when you kind of go beyond the limits, but it's kind of the same. However, if you go over to these guys and you start messing around with them, you'll notice that the top one, the spring, actually does what you expect a spring to do. The other ones are just kind of weird. They're like turning into an M or something. I don't know. So that's the basics of the spring IK system, and I hope that helps.